please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. So, I guess you guys probably want to hear my thoughts on this trade, right? So, it's funny how everything, how everything happened this summer regarding Damian Lillard. <laughs> it's funny. About him, a week ago, I made a video about him crying and doing all this other stuff. But uh, I, I will have to say this. Uh, Damian Lillard and Giannis have been satisfied because both of them was doing a lot of shucking and driving. Uh, Damian wanted to go to Miami so badly, and Giannis started with all this talking in the past month. And I always thought in the back of my head, his talking, talking about he, he wants to know what the Bucks going to do in the future, yada, 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 uh, may not come back after his extension is over, after his contract is over. It's only language for uh, him saying he wants Damian Lillard, right? Uh, I'm sure Bucks fans, city of Milwaukee, they're excited. I'm sure. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of uh, bandwagoners coming over there now. But I personally thought they gave up way too much. And what I mean by that, and some of you already probably know what I mean by that, uh, Drew Holiday. I think, they gave up Drew, I think giving up Drew Holiday was a mistake. Now, yeah, you're, the Bucks are more, uh, have more offensive firepower. But um, I ain't got no defense. There ain't no defense now. Drew Holiday's gone, and everybody's gonna probably mention, "Oh, he got cooked by Jimmy by Jimmy Butler last year in the first round." Man, eh, that may be true. But now you got no defense. And from what I heard, Drew Holiday may not even stay in Portland. He may be either traded or bought out, and. That fool can just waltz his ass to Miami. So now you got another problem on your hands. Didn't really solve anything. But who knows if he goes to Miami. You never know. I would laugh if he find a way to go back to Milwaukee somehow, some way. I don't think that's going to happen. But, um, yeah, Damian Little on the Bucks makes it easier for Giannis. No more double teams, no more walls, even though I think that whole wall strategy was going away anyway after the uh, 2021 playoffs. Um, Chris Middleton had to step his ass up. No more Grace Allen, thank God. Marshawn Bochamp is going to have to step his ass up. This is his third year now? The second or third year he's going into? I'm, uh, I forgot uh, what the new coach now is his name. Adrian, uh, the mechanic, uh, Griffin. Uh, hopefully he gives Marcel Bolchamp more time on the court, unlike Barney Robel did. Um, trying to think. It does create, with Damian Little on there, it does create uh, matchups. Defensive matchups for opposing teams. Um, it's going to be a matchup problem when they play Boston because now Boston don't have Marcus Smart no more. They got a disgruntled Malcolm Brogdon. Um, I ain't worried about Philly. Philly is in distress right now with James Harden. Uh, I tell you, I see the Bucks will have to deal with. And probably have a problem dealing with. Probably will be Miami. So Miami plays tough. But also Miami. It's one thing people forget. Miami is very, very, very small in the front court. And with Bam out of by with only being six foot nine and all that. 
Uh, that's an advantage that the Bucks will have, and they should use this time around, and they was to face Miami in the playoffs. But anyways, um, Knicks, no. Toronto, no. And for some reason, all of a sudden, the rumors of Damian Lillard possibly being traded surrounding that makes sense at all i didn't understand those rumors at all i think that's probably smoke screens i think this whole uh, entire offseason was a smoke screen i think probably from june not june june july end of june july for most of this summer i think the books probably had their hand on this trade i don't think miami was even going to budge at all I think as soon as they realize they got to give it a Tyler Hero and um, Bad Mind of Bio, they said no to that trade. Um, I'm surprised they didn't get a third person to be part of that trade. But anyways, it didn't work out. I think my, Milwaukee was always in the conversation. It just wasn't reported. And Dame constantly kept saying he always wanted to play with Giannis. But shout out to 78 Sports TV. I think it was he said that him and cause I know him and Two Raw was on a stream together. They pointed out something that I completely even forgot happened. I knew it happened because I was on stream myself at the time. So I was streaming the All-Star game back in February. But uh, when they was picking the teams for the, for the uh, All-Star teams, I completely forgot Damian Lillard was picked up by um, Giannis first instead of Drew Holiday. Interesting. Oh. But. Hmm. It should be interesting to see what happens. It should be interesting. Um. They, uh, they probably should add another wing player. I don't know who they should add to be a wing player. Um, they're top heavy right now because they got both low pass brothers now. Older. Um, this is a win now team, of course. I'm trying to think of a perfect wing to add because now they lost Grayson Allen. They need another wing. And on top of this, um, the Suns got rid of. DeAndre Aiden, they got him the hell up out of here. They got tired of his antics, sent his ass to Portland. Now, who knows if he stays in Portland? I think he might. Uh, but another wing player. I don't know what other wing player they would need. It had to be somebody they would sign later in the season. Or the next huh, excuse me, couple of weeks. But anyways... Damian Lillard goes to Milwaukee. Something I have foreseen. Something that I'm not shocked to buy. It's funny. I spent all night last night working on the video for my original channel. Um, basically pulled it all night. I ain't gonna sleep till almost six o'clock this morning. And I wake up probably around twelve. And I see a whole bunch of text messages, messages on Instagram. Um. And I see Damon Lillard has reportedly been traded to the Bucks. I go to YouTube and I see everybody's videos and streams. I'm like, wow, that really happened. So I'm not really too surprised. I have figured it had to happen. Giannis was doing too much yapping around the around the lips. But anyways, we should see what happens in the season. I mean, with the season starting in a couple of weeks. So anyways, those are my thoughts about it. Tell me what you guys think.